Inclusion and Exclusion Criteria in Research Inclusion and Exclusion Criteria Define who from the target population is eligible or ineligible to participate in a research study. Collectively referred to as eligibility criteria, these parameters are crucial for recruiting participants for clinical trials. They help researchers focus on the needs of a relatively uniform group, for example, individuals with liver disease with accuracy. Examples of inclusion and exclusion criteria. Common examples of inclusion and exclusion criteria include demographic factors, including age, gender identity, ethnicity, study specific variables, include disease type and stage, prior treatment history, coexisting chronic conditions, ability to attend follow up appointments or technological access, for example, internet availability. Control factors include physical fitness, tobacco use, or medication regimen. What are inclusion criteria? Inclusion criteria refer to the specific characteristics or attributes that potential research participants must possess to qualify for a study. These criteria often include demographic, clinical, or geographic factors. Example of inclusion criteria. Consider a clinical trial evaluating a new treatment for individuals with chronic heart failure. The inclusion criteria might include age range of 18 to 80 years, a confirmed diagnosis of chronic heart failure at least six months prior to the trial, stable doses of prescribed heart failure therapies, willingness to attend required follow-up post-test visits. Participants who meet these criteria are deemed eligible to join the study. What are exclusion criteria? Exclusion criteria refer to specific characteristics that disqualify potential participants from being included in a study. These criteria can also apply to individuals who initially qualified but must withdraw due to factors that arise later. In essence, individuals who meet the inclusion criteria may still possess additional attributes that could interfere with the study's outcomes requiring their exclusion. Common exclusion criteria include Ethical considerations Being underage or unable to provide informed consent Practical limitations Inability to read or understand study materials other factors conditions such as pregnancy or coexisting medical issues that could influence results example of exclusion criteria in a clinical trial for chronic heart failure patients the following might disqualify participants need for valve or other cardiac surgery inability to perform any physical activity without discomfort History of a stroke within three months prior to enrollment. Refusal to provide informed consent. Eligibility for coronary bypass surgery or similar interventions. Individuals meeting any of these exclusion criteria are ineligible to participate even if they fulfill the inclusion criteria. Why are inclusion and exclusion criteria important? Establishing inclusion and exclusion criteria is essential for research that focuses on a specific subset of a population. These criteria ensure that the study population is identified consistently, reliably, and objectively. This increases the likelihood that participants will possess the characteristics necessary to effectively address the research question. In clinical trials, carefully defined criteria also reduce the risk of harm to participants, for example, excluding pregnant individuals and protect vulnerable groups from exploitation, for example, excluding individuals unable to fully understand the research. Such ethical considerations are crucial in human-centered research. Conclusion 
By applying inclusion and exclusion criteria to recruit participants, researchers can ensure that participants are indeed representative of the target population, ensuring external validity. Relatedly, defining robust inclusion and exclusion criteria strengthens your claim that causal relationships exist between your treatment and control groups, ensuring internal validity. Strong inclusion and exclusion criteria also help other researchers because they can follow what you did and how you selected participants, allowing them to accurately replicate or reproduce your study.